and welcome to our wretched. My name is Todd Friel. I am your host. The wretch the song refers to. Hey, let's go to San Francisco for the Faith and Feminism Conference. Dare I say, oh boy. Take a look at where this bad boy is being held. This is going to get you if you happen to be Lutheran. The Faith and Feminism Conference is hosted by Ebenezer Luth... <coughs> Sorry. Hosted by Ebenezer... I'm not even Lutheran, and it gets stuck right about there. Ebenezer Lutheran Building, let's call it that, in San Francisco, which bills itself as her church. Don't believe me? Let me show you the picture of the outside of the building. There you go, herchurch.org. Everyone welcome at this table. 10.30 a.m. Sunday, Goddess loves all her children. Hey, no, I'm offended. What do you mean God's a girl? I can't relate to that kind of divine being. You see, it's just the whole mishmash. Here's perhaps the most dangerous part of this sign, maybe. Everyone welcome at this table. Now, I presume that is talking about the Lord's table, the Lord's Supper, communion, 1 Corinthians 11, my San Francisco Lutheran friends, if anybody approaches the Lord's table unworthily, in other words, they are living in persistent sin, something is going on between them and a brother or sister, or they are not actually saved, uh-oh, that's a problem. God makes some of those people sick. He even kills them. So for this church to just recklessly say, everyone welcome at this table, is not nice at all. Furthermore, and this might be a little on the creepy side, as if the whole thing hasn't been creepy. If goddess loves her children, then goddess, apparently according to them, they've already picked the pronoun her, is a she. What is the church? The church is the bride. Huh. So that would mean, I'm sorry for this, if I'm doing my math correctly, that goddess is also a lesbian. Oh, boy. Let me show you who will be speaking at the Faith and Feminism Conference. Here she is. High Priestess of Isis Oasis. It's a retreat. Lorian Bigney. This woman is actually a high priestess of the religion, the Egyptian pagan religion of Isis. Now, perhaps you don't know what that religion is. Well, we here at Wretched we did some serious research on the subject, and for your consideration and education, we put together this educational video on the religion of ISIS. Oh, my queen, said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, my God. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. Isis. wonder if she was any relation to Kirk Cameron. Remember that TV show? <laughs> I do when I was a kid. I think that was, that was out about the same time as Land of the Lost. There, there's, there's a reference for you. You remember Land of the Lost, don't you? <clears throat> Michael, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition. Okay, I remember the theme song to the Land of the Lost. Do you think I could memorize a Bible verse that I looked at yesterday? On the greatest earthquake ever known. Hi, I'm the rapids. They lost their tiny raft and plunged them down, down beneath below. <clears throat> To the land of the lost, lost, lost. <laughs> Isis. Now, we actually took this story from World Net Daily. They posted a little snippet of the TV show Isis for no reason whatsoever other than 
I guess we have come a long way in some regards. Mr. Mason! What's wrong? Something's out there. I don't know what. It really frightened us. A big hairy... Calm down now. What do you think you really saw? I don't know. Maybe a bear. No, no, it wasn't a bear. It was just too big. Oh, I wish I got a picture of it. Wait a second. Maybe it was Bigfoot. Bigfoot? No, oh, Bigfoot. It's supposed to be a large man-like creature that lives in the woods. People report seeing him everywhere. Of course, that's just a legend. Well, it sure describes what we saw. <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Look, Cindy, I don't know what you saw or what you think you saw, but you are right about one thing. We do have to get out of here. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if you even realize this, but everybody who actually appeared in this TV show, Isis, they actually took acting lessons from Keanu Reeves. Don't know if you knew that. Let me share with you uh, what the priestess of Isis will be doing at the Faith and Feminism Conference. I personally see Isis as Mother Nature, and that she encompasses everything with her wings. She's a winged goddess. She encompasses any other goddess from any culture. Okay, look, believe whatever you want to, madam, I honestly, but this is inside of a Lutheran church. Would you like to see the graven image of Isis? Well, we've got it for you. There she is holding her son, Horus. And the Lutheran church says, yeah, that's close enough. Why don't we have that at the conference? Here's the high priestess again. Guided meditation is where the audience closes their eyes, minds, ears, everything, and you take them on a little journey. I've taken people to their past lives in Egypt, as that culture had all the secrets. They're the ones that knew. Their main concept is to know thyself. Know thy heart, know thy soul, and know thy purpose. This is being brought into a feminism conference inside of a Lutheran church, honestly. Let me share with you one other thing that this woman said that I think is worthy of note. Why? Because every other religion besides biblical Christianity is ultimately a works religion. That's right. You, you remove the Ten Commandments, which points to the cross, to Jesus, where grace can be found. And what you end up doing, you take that, the laws out, you take the gospel out, and you end up with legalism. Here's what she said. Priestess Vigny says the belief system is based on the ancient concept of balance with 42 laws. Yikes! And you thought the Ten Commandments were rough. What do you see again? More law. You know, why don't people... You know, the Ten Commandments are so bad, they're just terrible and mean. How's about the little ISIS 42 laws business? When we come back on Wretched, perhaps saving the best for last, we will show you and hear from the <clears throat> transgender reverend from the Lutheran Church. You can't write this stuff. This is Wretched. Wretched.